Welcome to another episode of Mobile Attitude. I'm Meredith Papp and I'm with the Google Mobile Ads team. Recently we launched new expanded mobile reporting features within Google Analytics. For mobile application developers, what this means is it's now possible to track user activity the same way that you could do with websites. And we're here at the Redfin offices in San Francisco to learn how they did just that. Um, so I'm here with Sasha Aiken, who's the engineering manager here at Redfin. And Sasha, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what Redfin does and what you guys were hoping to accomplish with your mobile app. Sure. So Redfin is an online uh, web real estate brokerage. So the idea is our customers come and search for homes online, uh, find the houses they're interested in, we go and take them out to the houses. Um, and then when they're ready to buy, they put an offer in on Redfin and our agent takes them through the whole process. But then we just charge half the commission that traditional real estate agents charge. Um, and the reason we wanted to put together an iPhone app is because buying a home is a uniquely online, offline experience. And we were trying to bridge that online, offline experience. So when you guys got started with Google Analytics on your mobile app, what were the kinds of things you were looking to learn? Sure. So first off, we just wanted the basics of how many people are using it, and how often they're using it, um, how many times they're visiting. Um, so the basics of visitors, uh, visits, uh, and then things like loyalty and recency, sort of seeing how, if we've done a good job addicting the users like we wanted to. Um, but we were also very interested in what parts of the app they saw to, to understand what parts of the user interface they're using, what parts they're not, what parts are really important. So once you started actually looking at the data that you were getting back, what were some of the more interesting findings? So one of, them, one of the things we say on the main website is that, you know, people can't get enough photos. When, you know, the, the, our customers, they always want more photos of a home. They've never said, oh no, 60 is enough. They always want more. <laughs> um, and certainly looking at the usage stats for the, for the iPhone app, um, people are clicking on that photo, the photos link all the time. Uh, so that was one thing that was good to get confirmation of that things are the same with the iPhone app. Um, another thing that actually surprised us, we'd heard anecdotally that iPhones are really concentrated in San Francisco, New York, and wow, are they ever from the data we got. <laughs> and one other thing that, that I think that actually was legitimately a surprise to us was several iPhone developers had told us that iPhone users upgrade their apps really fast. Um, and several of us had come from a background of installed, uh, you know, installed software, not, you know, not websites. And none of us really believed that, that, that it would happen quickly. Um, but when, we, when we, we released a point uh, update to, our, uh, to the app in about two weeks after the original uh, version of the app, we watched in analytics as the traffic changed from one version to the other. And within a few weeks or so, I think it was maybe three or four weeks, we were down to just 3% of our users using the original version. Uh, which really shocked us, um, but is great because it means we can upgrade more often. What was the process like to get started with analytics and to you know, start implementing that with your, with your app? Sure. Uh, it was really simple. Uh, we got the libraries and the instructions, uh, and we just, I mean, it was, actually took less than a day. We just imported the libraries, put a couple lines of code to, to decide, you know, we had to decide what we wanted to measure particularly. Mm -hmm. And that was actually the hardest part by far, but um, we decided that relatively quickly. And it's maybe a dozen lines of code, um, and then we just, you know, the next day we started seeing the data come into the the, the analytics account we already use for our main website. So, what do you see as next for for you guys at Redfin? Uh, that's a good question. I think one of the things we're really interested in doing is tracking more carefully how exactly how the user interface is being used. So, sort of putting more events in for particular button clicks or. There's some power user shortcuts. We use sort of two finger tap for certain things, and we'd like to see you know how much those are being used, and if we need to promote them more, um, or you know make it easier to, to use them. So I think I think we think that analytics, if we put more you know event tracking in, is going to give us more ideas of where we can go with the interface. Fantastic. Thanks so much for uh, for having us. My pleasure. Thanks.